This time around, I want to talk about formatting. How do you format your website? How do you format your programming, your HTML? You know, you're talking about your website design. That's your thing. So you have to format your website the way that it's very easy for people to read, for people to understand your website. Though some may say format is not important. After all, it doesn't really change anything, the layer or anything on the website or your coding. But it does important. It's not important. HTML will not include formatting at all. But formatting is honestly very important. Now, formatting has to deal with the way you lay out your site, the way you organize it. That when it's well organized, when people see it, they'll be happy, they come and work on it, you know, they see the site. So how do you now organize your file in such a way that it shows that, yes, there's a good organization here? So at the same time, let us kick start it and show you how to do it. So it really helps in organizing your work, and HTM has all these things in place. For example, when you come to a website, nearly you get to a website, what do you notice first? You see the header. And in header, what do you see in the header? You see the navigation menu, you see the logo, you see the logo, you see the maybe links, maybe sometimes a call to action, some buttons for you to press, so sometimes images and videos, all that, all that. I mean, you guys have seen a website before and you know what a header should have, okay? So the next one after the header is the section, the second part of it, which I may call the fleshy part, you know, and that section, that is the fleshy and bone of the website. Where the beauty lies, to me, that is my personal opinion anyway. Yeah, you have the content, you have articles, and these articles are grouped in sections, images, you have videos, you have products, you have what you, you tell you what the website is all about, what they want you to do and all that. Whatever, you know, you know. And the last major one is the footer. The footer, the footer button there and the footer, you have something like if you scroll down all the way to the button there, down, you see additional navigation list. Maybe branding, maybe link to social media account, maybe chat button, maybe contact, maybe terms and conditions and some policies, people policies and the rest of them. Somebody can chat or to maybe link to your WhatsApp or other area. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, a website should have an organization. When you're well organized, your work becomes easier, becomes safer. Of course, doesn't really add or change anything you are doing, but going this step by step like this helps a lot. So without wasting time, let's dive in. And set step by step approach and see how this can actually work out for all. So let's scroll down and move to Asian. I will start with the header. I will start with the header as usual. How do you do your header? Scroll down so I will know what I'm talking about in the body right now. So we'll go to the body tag. This is the body tag. Name it down, name it down, name it down. Let's start with the first one. The first one to me, I should start with the header. You know, I told you about header before. Name it up that person. So you, as usual, head first for session planning, bring it down, and let's just type it completely, header, 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 so you won't confuse it with page one or page two, and down, uh, and down, uh, so I mail after your header, bring it down, you know, bring it down. And you know, in between the header, all that things will come. I'll show you things that will come. The well after header will go to the next one, which is the main. Main, main, what is it? Main, main part, you know, the main. Bring it down, bring it down. Well after your main, the next one is the footer. So this is the most important. There are still others that will come, the still other one. But they are certainly, well, me, based on system, okay? Just make your work to the neat, make your work to be more organized, make you people, even you that is working, you know where to put what and make you, your work to be okay. So we've seen the main one, the header, the footer, the header, the main, and the footer. What comes under the header? That is up. Yeah, this is the beauty. The header, the main, the footer, you see they are like siblings, siblings to who the body is the parent. So inside the header, all that things will come up. Inside the mail, that will come up. So you, all you do is that you bring out your code. All the code that's supposed to be on the header will go to the header session. That's supposed to be main. We go to the main session. When I go to the footer, go to the footer session. And like today about the header session, those ones like navigation, the rest of them, they come to the header session. Hope you're getting it because we are going practical right now before we start the main part. Inside the header tab, we're going to have something like a navigation menu. You know navigation menu? For example, on your website, you see about page, home page. Contractors page, product page, service page, professional, this, that, that. You know what I'm talking about? 
So that will be on the navigation menu. So you bring that navigation. Because I'll type your number. So click on it, number. Don't worry. If you don't understand navigation, we want to walk to the left and type it. So let's take it over here. Let it join the header. You know, you're talking about header. So <clears throat> don't worry. If you don't understand it, we are going to do this thing practically. When we get to now, navigation menu, when we talk about links, I will show you. Just be patient. Follow me. I want us to be well organized. When we get there, we go back to Nava, we put all these links there, and you see how links can be, uh, how you can code links, how you can move about page, contact us page, okay, how you can link them together, and then you click on, we click on it here, and you open the contact that us to about us. So don't worry about that. Just follow me as we are going, okay? I believe as I'm typing, type along with me, and follow me because we'll get there. I'm not going to put it on Nav tag right now because we are still working on it. But I just say this button, this is button. If you want to work like this, it becomes easier for you. Remember, after the header session, the next one we are going to is the main session. So what comes before the main session? Think, think, think. What is what do you see in the main session of the website? The body. You know, when we say body, we don't talk about this body, you know. Talking about the what the website is all about. That is why I call it main. So it's not like article, write-ups, a product, this and this and the rest of them, maybe prices and the rest of them. So here, what we do, we start with the first one. Let's go on this. Let's see what you're going to type next right now. So what's coming here? Yeah, and remember after the main, the next thing that I talk about article. Maybe you have you have you have um, some article or some of your product you want to put or you want to showcase it. You know, you bring it there. You bring it there. So let's type it article, article, article. Have to go in there. Article. Have your article. <coughs> have your article that will go in there. Close the tab. Bring it down. Then article always is a, another thing that will come in session. It does not mean that article term will be together like but article always go with session. But you can choose any other way you want it. Maybe like session, maybe your blog post, the first post have a session for it. Maybe your product pages maybe you have a session for it. You know? Session. So you can I mean between article you put in your session. So we can bring in session here. We can bring in session here. That's what I'm trying to, 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 to tell you. We can bring in session here. Okay. So you bring in session here. Session, bring in session here. Okay, close it up. Bring it down. So session can be as many. Maybe this will be your first blog post or your product for those doing e-commerce. Maybe the list of products you are selling, where they will click, yeah, and pay and all that. You know, or the blog session. So session can be as many as you want. You can have so many sessions as many as you want, depending on how many things you're writing. Maybe it's an article or a product. What the product is all about. It's a product. So you can have as many sessions as you want. Just you can type as many as you want, and you know it. It, it makes your work to be well organized, to be more organized. Are you getting the parent relationship here? The body is the parent. Header is a sibling. Why main is sibling? Footer is sibling. But under navigation, you come out under under header. Navigation is a sibling to header. Header is a parent to navigation. Then you come out to article. Section is a, a sibling to article. Article is a parent to you. Know, are you getting it? See how it may make your work well organized. It makes you more easy. And also, another advantage of this is that if they are going to start it, then maybe Google search engine, the search quality, you I talked about it before, search engine optimization. Right there, go with people, know your site, be able to follow session, follow by Tico, see what you're doing. You know, it makes them easy to navigate your site. Okay. And the container to help your site to be on a particular container, which container do I have its own something on it. You know, all this will make your work tidy, make your work neat. So let's follow me as we're going along. This is very important. In session, sometimes if you are writing an article, maybe a blog, it's good for you to have a header. When I talk about header, I'm talking about heading. So here, maybe you, you know, the topic, the top topic, you have like heading one, you have it as your heading one, you know, you have your heading one. Then maybe after the heading one, in between there, you have your heading two, you have your heading two. That way, you know your work looks smart. Your work looks tidy. You see, you see heading one first, which has to be your topic. Then heading two comes to your sub. Then in between the heading two, you also have another like heading three. You have another like heading three. You know, it makes your work it look very neat. Then you have the smaller heading again in between the two heading two. So what are we trying to say? This is not it's not something that you do it this way. Or at least when your life will work like this, it make it neat, make it neater. People like it. You know, I'm not saying you should do it anyway, but uh, best practice, the mind that you do it this way, okay? So that is on the app session. We are still my uh, going on it, and we are still learning something new from it. Continue it. Going by the same token, another thing that I also advise you to use is what you call a site tag. 
a side tag, it's just a tag, like it, it, it kind of you are trying to let someone know about a product is not related to your website, but yes, for example, let's say Google Assistant. If you're on Google Assistant, maybe a blogger, you have Google Assistant. Yeah, it's not really directly related to your site, but at least it's doing money for you. So you can say put that on a side tag. So let, let me just try to use a side tag, a side tag, a side tag. So yeah, that's what we're talking about. A side tag. So here you can bring your site tag. Let's, I want something to be yes, under protection. Yes, under protection. Yeah. So from this abstract tag, you bring it down like this. And right there on a side tag, right there on a side tag, you can now put in, sorry. This is the part I want to It's supposed to be at the middle. Before I bring it down, so that is what happened. So from a side tag, you can now put all that advertisement, all that things I want people to write about, maybe maybe a paragraph of it, you know, to put it there. People will come, they will understand it. They will know it's not part of your website, but it's actually on your website. Yeah. So anything has to do with advertisement, all that things I mean, you know, you take your website them on a side tag so that way you better at the website is make taking shape making it very good shape and at the end of the day people understand what the website is all about you know what you're doing and it also make your work easy but you don't have to start looking for where to put where to put that you know where to put everything because it's always good to be organized when you clearly organize your you your website like this it makes things easy for you okay some people may disagree with me and just decide to do their website using a general tag but there is a big advantage in using specific tags on your website. One of the advantages is that it makes your site be well organized. When somebody comes to your website, maybe the developer comes to your site, see what you are building, you will be able to know, oh, this is the header section, oh, this is the navigation menu, oh, this is the SEC section, oh, this is this section, oh, this is our site section. You know, it makes your work look really neat, makes your work look readable, it makes people understand what you are doing. And that is why I always encourage it. Don't just go. There are many special tags from that APM bring up. And remember, they don't bring up for nothing. So since they brought those things, and because of our own benefits, that when that you are well organized, it makes things easy for you. You forget things easily as well because as you're working, sometimes you may forget where to put your header, where to put your, you know. But when it's organized like this, you know where to put what? Carry the code, put it at the right place, carry the code to the right place. In the long run, it makes your work easier. So some will say, no, let me just start building from nowhere and I'll get it right, right? That is good for you if you are good in that. But personally, I believe in organization. I believe in structure. Like you can see, you can see, you can up your website later and say, yes, I did a very neat job. Okay. Another reason why it is good for you to analyze your tag like this is because of search engine optimization. Let's see you. Remember, search engines will always go to your site. They will navigate your site, go there and search for specific things about your site. So they need to take it out to the world. If your site is zigzag, they might not be able to get a lot of things. So, you know, a site like Google, when Google comes to your site, you'll be able to look at it and see what you're okay. Oh, this is the navigation menu. Oh, this is the article. This is the special article section. Oh, it's section by section. This is section for this. This section for this. So be able to analyze your website and then be able to bring it out in a way applicable for for the world to read. You know. So I'm trying to kind of instill this on you. Is actually watching this video to always learn about organization, organize your files, organize your code inside. So your work may be very very easy. Easy not just for you but for search engine. Because in the run run, it help you, it rank you, because everybody wants to rank on Google first page. And that is where these are the things you need to do for Google to rank you very well. I believe I've, I've said enough about this, and I believe you learned something. Let's proceed again to it. So coming down to your contact menu, like we said before, contact is where you have your contact, maybe your 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 WhatsApp number, your WhatsApp, who can WhatsApp you, who can chat you up. You know, and also about it, your terms and conditions, the rest of them. These are what will be on your system. Now we will get there. We'll do it and see practically how these things are done. So just to wrap it up, please. I know this work, this is just an extra work for you because it's making they don't really reflect on your site, but it's an extra work for making to now start thinking about how to organize this like this. But in the long run, it pays. It pays. Okay, it pays. So please don't underrate it. Try as best as you can and try to see if you can organize your work like this. And see you in the next lesson. Thank you so much.